You may have heard that on January 31st, there was a supermoon, blue moon, blood moon, and that this only happens every 150 years. Now, as with many things in the media, this is over-sensationalized. Let's break down these types of moons so that we can fully understand what we are seeing. Let's start with blue moon. How would the moon turn blue? Well, it is because of water buildup on... Just kidding. The moon doesn't actually turn blue. A blue moon is just the second full moon in a month. This is rare because the average month length is 30.5 days long, and the average moon phase cycle is 29.5 days long. This means that the month and cycle need to line up perfectly to get a blue moon. Only 1 in 33 full moons are blue. However, blue moons aren't really special at all. If you looked at a picture of a blue moon, you wouldn't be able to tell it apart from a regular full moon. Next is the harvest moon. This is the full moon directly after the autumnal equinox. It is called this because the harvest takes place in the fall, and this full moon is near the start of the harvest season. This moon doesn't have any astronomical significance either. Another type of moon is the yellow honeymoon. A honeymoon is the result of a moonrise or moonset. You know how the sun turns all yellow and orange around sunrise and sunset? This is the same thing. Happening to the moon, however. The reason that the sky is blue is that it scatters blue light away from its source. This leaves the source looking yellow. When a source is on the horizon, its light is passing through more atmosphere, so it looks more yellow. Next is the supermoon. The supermoon is when the moon looks 6% bigger than normal at full moon. This happens because the moon's orbit is elliptical, so it will be closer to Earth sometimes and farther at others. There is a supermoon once a year because the moon phases are slightly shifted from the moon's distances. The opposite of this is the mini-moon, or micro-moon. This is when the moon is 6% smaller. Finally is the blood moon. The blood moon is just a lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the sun's light is completely blocked out by the Earth. Well, not completely. A small amount of light passes through the Earth's atmosphere and shines on the moon, but because it passes through the atmosphere, an extreme sunset effect turns the light red. The moon reflects this red light back, making it look red. Overall, there are many names for lunar occasions. This is because the moon is a big contributor to our calendar and because many astronomical events can change how the moon looks.